Well, hi there, boys and girls and ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our outdoor cooking chief. Right, and the beginning of our ninth season of shows. And you know, isn't it nice to know that our producer is a Weisenheimer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, we're out here all fresco today mm -hmm. with the dog up the street. The Just Laban and I and a staff of 47 people in the yard. <laughs> <laughs> the birds up upstairs chirping and that yeah. are dropping things on us constantly. You wouldn't want to eat this stuff today. It's a nice day outdoors, and we're going to do a little outdoor cooking for right. you in just a couple of minutes. And this is my backyard, and welcome to it. And this is the back of his house, and these are his steps, and this is his banister. Now, and let's this is read, our father's world. Right? Let's, read, <laughs> let's read some letters from around the world. To whom it may concern. Oh, How's no. that for a personal letter, it, Laban? It Isn't that nice? Because it's always rude. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for a recipe called steak roll-ups using onions, boiled eggs, don't remember what else. Well, obviously, if they did, they yeah. wouldn't have to ask for the recipe. Also using a half pound of bacon. Also, do you have the recipe for cool guardy stew? Thank you and return to, and here's a name that I can't pronounce, from Gamalil. Arkansas, and the answer, the answer is, yes. is no. Well, yes, we have the recipe, and you don't. <laughs> but, but no, because you didn't give us a self-addressed stamped envelope. See, that's so important, ladies and gentlemen. Don't litter either. Remember that's that. That's a safe. Okay. Now, safe. here's somebody wanted to know. W. C. Robbins from Fredericksburg, Virginia, wrote in and said, "Send." recipe so-and-so which sounded scrumptious except for all the fat from six slices of bacon for the hot potato salad. <laughs> what must one do to have the LL twins, Laban and Larry, try one's recipe? Must we write directly to the LL twins? And it's signed W.C. Robbins. Well, no, you. Mr. Robbins, we will do your recipe if you just send it to us no. and, and be nice. And it helps. Uh, oh, no, no. Oh, that's, oh, you can't do that on me. public yes, broadcast. That's, that's right. Uh, well, I thought maybe if they sent a couple of bucks, I'd be a little more interested. Dear gentlemen, well, that's the first we've been called yeah. that for a while on this show. I thought I would send you a note saying how much my sister and I enjoy your show. It comes on and goes into all this in Richmond, Virginia. And... Uh, getting the recipes for sweet and sour stew and orange salad which Laban prepared so efficiently. Please send a copy of these recipes in my SACE, S-A-S-A. -S -A. But this is what I love. It says, hope your show will continue for quite a while. Well, <laughs> so do we. Rachel Allen of Richmond, Virginia. Thank you very much. We appreciate it, Rachel. And Ruth Hendrick from uh, Richmond, Virginia wrote in and said, your show is very refreshing and I want to try some of your recipes. I really want to make some of those cookies you made with pumpkin and dates. Well, thank you, Ruth, and I hope you'll do it. That was a good recipe. Oh, yeah, it was. Dear Larry and Laban, thanks so much for making an even bigger success of your book at the autographing party. And this is from some of our oh, friends yes. in Roanoke. We won't mention a name, get anybody upset. But anyway, thank you. We appreciate your card. <laughs> and though we'll never see it again. And this guy wrote in and said, I really enjoyed your show on barbecuing. It was so down home. Why not have more like it and that's what exactly what we're going to do today today as a matter and of fact could you feature a program on crab cake spoon bread and homemade ice cream and yes and this is a wonderful combination with the above brussels sprouts <laughs> well crab cakes are a little bit out of our price range they are too expensive for spoon cooking bread cheap. is real good and yeah. we'll do it we'll do that it's a good southern yeah, recipe yeah. yeah and homemade ice cream is Wonderful. It's wonderful, but it just takes so long. But it's it may not take good more than 30 me. minutes. I don't know. Yeah, I anyway. Don't know. Well, but we'll see so, about it. So anyway, well, oh. Old Mange has uh, shut up down yes, the street. the dog down the street is hushed up for a while. And so I guess that uh, that means it's time for us to head on over to, to the, the uh, grill. To the grill. And that's right. what we're going to do. Laban, I sure do wish you'd clean up this yard. That's just Oh, well, paper, you know, the neighbors dirt, around here are so trashy. It's incredible. Well, no, they're, they're not. What they're really nice people. Oh, are they Most really? That's not what they say about you. very nice. Is this your lawn, or are you renting this for <laughs> no, the No, I'm, I'm renting oh, it. This, this is oh. our, our lovely uh, climbing euonymus, and this is Susie Spider down in here. And she has caught a number of the little seeds that the birds are dropping 
on you and me. They are <laughs> dropping seeds. You know, the dogwood berry yeah. seeds. This is beautiful. This really is. Yes, it is. Are these real flowers? Yes, they are. There? This oh. is just like one of those just other like outdoors. PBS shows, you know, where they show you all of the wonderful gardens and uh, things. And right. We didn't win in uh, the uh, garden contest this year. Well, are we going to work on your house when we get finished doing this? No, no, Bob Bailey. Well, that's another it, He's show. in there putting oh, in oh. one of those electrical, uh, oh, you know, yes, uh, he yes, trolls. Yes. So, uh, well, now, what, 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 what we got to do now on uh, your little recipe well, here? Well, my recipe, I, I can't take credit for this. This was sent in uh, to me by uh, Mr. Prelliman mm -hmm. of Roanoke. Mm -hmm. And uh, he and his wife uh, sent this in. They said this is the only way to uh, cook chicken. So let me show you. This is way. the only way to the cook chicken outside way on the to grill. Cook chicken. Now, please promise me that you won't laugh too much. All this right. is a chicken breasty, and it has the bone in. And what I we've done, Lucian. we have uh, pulled the skin. Talking to my neighbor. Yeah, he just walked past there. Lucian House. Nice yeah, there man. he goes. Nice anyway, fella. you pull anyway. the skin off the chicken breasty. Yeah. Because you don't need it. It's, well, if you know, no skin off right. my chicken. And you put your breasties down in a bowl, and you pour zesty Italian dressing. <laughs> <laughs> pour zesty on your breasty. Right. All that. over it, and uh -huh. then you marinate it <laughs> overnight. As they say here in Rhode Yeah. No, this is Doug Prelman says. That's <laughs> marinated overnight. Marinated overnight right. in the, uh, in a, this is a. Zesty. In a plastic One of those bowl. Things. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And every time you go in the kitchen to get something out the refrigerator, you shake it up at one time so you make sure it goes real good. Did you do that yesterday evening oh, yeah. every time you yeah. went to your refrigerator? All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, okay. before you bring it outside and put it on the grill, you put your breast, <laughs> oh, this sounds so awful, but you put your breast in a microwave safe uh, container and you put them. You cook them part the way, about how 75%. Long, how long do you have to cook Well, I don't know. These? I cook, there's a whole bunch of them. I cooked it 15 minutes, but in the, they're done. And now we're going to finish them out here on the grill. This way, those of you that don't like, and I'm right in there, chicken that's raw, I don't like it dried out to the bone either, but if you, if, you know, if you don't like raw chicken, this is a good way to get it, make sure that it's cooked. And it's a little bit healthier for you too because you got the skin taken off of it. Of course, chicken's good for you anyway. And you use the... Now, why do you take the skin off? You told me You enough. just don't need all the, the extra oh. fat. Oh, all right. And now we're going to... I've got my... Baster. Th baster here, and I'll just drizzle some of this over it as I'm cooking. And this is some of the natural Ooh, juices that and smells the good. zesty Italian. And we will Ooh, slather this on <laughs> here as we <laughs> cook this up. Yeah. And that, that's how you do this chicken recipe. Now, you don't cover it or anything. No, you don't cover it or anything. This is so easy, any fool could do it. I know you'll want to do it as soon as you have it. <laughs> I knew that that was coming. I just knew he was going to do it. And if, if you will notice, ladies and gentlemen, I have a very simple grill. I am so poor. For I a simple person. I can't afford one of those terribly expensive, you know, gas ones, you know, they've oh, got the little individually what carved you get paid on this program. briquettes and yeah, everything. Uh -huh. So this is a grill that... live down the street, right. <laughs> briquettes right. only. You know. I bought this grill at one of the local discount stores last spring, and I think I gave $14.95 for it. Fourteen ninety-five, and it has served me well this summer. You have eaten off of this grill yourself. That's right, in this very yard, at this very gazebo. So, for those of you out there that think that you have to spend a fortune on a grill, you do not have to do it. Forget it. Don't worry about it. Those big grills, the electric ones and the gas ones, are really nice, but this is the real McCoy with a, a sack of charcoal. Well, I'm going to move up here lest I smell like a burned chicken for the rest of the day. The smoke's so about to get to me. <laughs> so anyway. Well, we'll keep the bugs Would you be that. terribly offended if I went up on the second level and started? I would be uh, greatly pleasured if you would. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go up here. That's what I'm going to do. Well, we'll leave leaving in the tired chicken down there, and we'll check back with him in a couple of minutes. I'm going to do something called broccoli salad, and it's so simple, this salad is, and so marvelous. And again, we're going to be using a sort of a, a zesty Italian dressing here. And the first thing we have to do is just start a sawing away on some a head of broccoli, about a pound of it it calls for, but I'm going to be honest with you, I don't have time to do a pound. I don't know whether you can see this or not, but I have a new invention. Have you seen this, Laban? I'll bring it out here so oh, you can see it. This is a combination trash bag and chair. What do you think? Well, 
we got a <laughs> we got an empty can in both of them. <laughs> right. So anyway, I've got to put that right there. And the first thing we're going to start doing is sort of stripping away this this little barky part yeah. of the uh, of the broccoli. And you just do that, but just grab and hold of it down here. Actually, I'm going to saw it in half so I can get a little better grasp of it here. And you take off this awful part because it's real nasty and it's, you're gonna be eating this raw, you see. Ooh. So you don't want all of this, that barky stuff there. And you cut this up into little pieces, all right? That's the first thing we're gonna do. And I'm just gonna be doing that for a little while while Mr. Johnson amuses you and the birds sing in the well, background. Well, thank heavens the dog stopped barking later. Yes, the dog did. And that old lady, I guess her fist will be well, it'll be all right. No, never mind. <laughs> How's the chicken coming? It's doing just fine. I'm going to flip it over right here. This is a little bit different from what you might ordinarily expect. It will get brown, but it's not going to get brown, toasty brown like fried chicken because it doesn't have all that breading on it and the skin is not there. It's just going to get have that nice grilled kind of flavor. And I've turned it. The, our char I'll tell you the truth, we, we had some technical problems. No. Yeah, well, we had this blue jay that came in here and was saying ugly things, and it was very bad. And so my charcoal kind of burned down a little bit. But let me, just based on this thing here, I, people use all kinds of different things to baste with. I, if I've got a thin barbecue sauce, I like to use this thing because it's a little bit easier. Some people use a dish mop. I've seen that. And once again, this is just zesty Italian dressing. You can use your favorite brand. And I just used a whole large size bottle on this chicken. Now what I'm doing is I'm breaking this down to little florets, bite sized florets, because this is sort of the biggest part of the salad. We're gonna be adding an awful lot of stuff to this. How much of that are you starting out with? Well, you start, it really calls for about a pound of it, but I just got myself a couple of big heads and just big head, big, big head, head. Went, went from there. So now, anyway, that's but always I'm, been one of his problems. But I'm getting this into, <laughs> I'm getting this into little bite Oh, what a lovely florets. metal bowl you have there. Now, <laughs> where did you get oh, that Oh, thank bowl? you. This is Mr. Well, how embarrassing. The biggest portion of my salad just flopped on the floor. Well, that's all right. We know that's where it's way, been. That's right. <laughs> that's where it's going to be, and that's where it's going to stay. Every cat in this neighborhood. No one will ever notice. <laughs> been over that. We're going to use what's good and clean, all right? Now, what you do is you take the stem portion and just kind of cut that up a little bit, all right, after you get that off there, and cut right down to the florets. Got a good ring. Yeah. Got a good ring to it, yeah, doesn't it? A, don't you it's think? It's an A, I think. So anyway, I'm just continuing to do that. This is probably, well. Oh, you dropped more on Pay the no attention to the stuff I'm dropping well, on Well, we'll have healthy birds and squirrels in this neighborhood. Well, the squirrels are up there, too. You can hear them chattering every once in a while. We have uh, very are they cold? frisky. Oh, yeah, they get real nervous oh. up there, too. And they're quivering in anticipation of having a green salad tonight for dinner instead of their usual fare of dogwood berries and nuts. Well, perhaps you'd like to take us on a garden tour while you're waiting for me to... to uh... No, I mean, what's to oh, see? Okay. It's just a bunch right. of flowers, yeah, you plants. See one backyard, geraniums. you've seen them all, I always think. Uh-huh. Well, I'll try and hurry along Of course, we had a here. lovely Akuba plant over here, but Maureen has squashed it with her sound <laughs> equipment. <laughs> you have no idea what it's like to have a crew of 15 in your backyard. Watching you. Watching you. While you're trying to cook. Not to mention the neighbors. Now, right over this way <laughs> is Ruth and Lucian House. They're really nice people. We want to know where the skeletons are buried back here. And over on this side is an apartment house, and it's got some, uh, well, interesting folk in it. Well, and I'm, then, I'm And hurt. then, of course, the dog up the street. That, that, that belongs to the Milnes, and it's the mouthiest dog in the entire neighborhood. There that dog goes off like Old Faithful every half hour, all night, too. Old mange. Mm -hmm. One good thing about doing this outdoors is you don't have to worry about things falling and such as long as you pick it up and clean it off. We're not even going to use what's fallen today because we don't really need it. Got some big bunches here, and I promise you I'm going to stop doing this in just a couple of minutes. This is the boring part. Not that the rest of it's any more interesting, mind you. Johnson, you're getting your head in my shot. <laughs> Am I really? He's got a terribly big head, oh. and he's way up there. Well, try this. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. 
Oh, be just a couple of more to go. <laughs> we also have mushrooms, and we have artichoke hearts, and we have uh, olives, and Good we're going to uh, add pimento, and then we're going to add a zesty, nice Italian pre-made oil to this, and we're going to marinate this overnight. And I have one that has indeed been marinated overnight and has been carried from one end of this valley to the other today and should be real tasty. And we'll try that one at the end of the program. I'm down to one final one here. I'm not That's even going to go for that stalk. I've had it with this. I'm tired. There's just nothing you can do to make this exciting. I'm sorry. I wish we'd have had two bags of charcoal. Boy, this charcoal's going to give out on me. Is this a two-bag day? Two-bag day. Remember that. Write that down in your recipes, folks. When you get it, make a little note. Use plenty of charcoal on this recipe, especially if you are televising it from your backyard. <laughs> now, the next thing I'm going to do, excuse me. I hope I didn't put anyone's You'll eye out. You'll probably have uh, Broccoli. A little broccoli growing all over the backyard Coming up here soon. next year. Where Next the, thing uh, I'm going to do now are. is start chopping up some fresh mushrooms. Oh. And I have, these are fresh. They grew in this little box in the backyard. What did I do with my, oh, there it is. All right. And I'm going to start chopping those things up a little bit. I don't have a chopping board that you promised me earlier oh, today. I noticed I you, uh, yes, you did. Forgot all about it. So anyway, if when all else fails, use your thumb. Mm -hmm. Just like I'm doing now. People forget they can use parts of their body for these things. Oh, blah. What? A piece of corruption has landed on your fine <laughs> salad I'm bowl. Afraid you're right I, I felt that I ought to close up my bowl completely because <laughs> well, the mine, same bird might be flying. Well, <laughs> look at that. Oh, well, don't show it. Clean it off. It's for heaven's true, sakes, a bird this, has. <laughs> this is outdoor cooking, and it's sealed up. It's and hermetically you have to deal sealed. With the vicissitudes of. Uh, Sissity. Incontinent uh, avian <laughs> visitors. <laughs> Would you care to say that again? The, the vicissitudes, vicissitudes of, of incontinent, incontinent avian, avian visitors. visitors. <laughs> Let's look at that chicken one more time. Well, Here, what about about it? See how it's coming along. So far, the birds, recognizing one of their own, <laughs> have not done anything to but chicken. Oh, that chicken sure looks good. I tell you, well, hardly wait to get my lips on that. Well, listen, I've decided that I'm going to knock off on these mushrooms. I've got the greatest of plenty, and I'm, I'm just going to stop on that because, to be honest with you, a little, little bit of that goes a long way. Now we got to start opening a few things. This calls for ripe olives sliced, and I'm going to be honest with you. I decided I wasn't going to take olives and slice them all up. It's too much work, and they're they're just as cheap to buy, already sliced. I'll swear. Well, this is an outdoor program. Just as, oh, yeah, you're going to ruin that. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't believe it. Uh, that see, plant. they're real pretty. Mm -hmm. I couldn't have done a better job myself. And as a matter of fact, I had no intentions of doing a better job myself, to be honest with you. I want to put a little can of those. It's just a little tiny can of them. And two, I think it calls for two tablespoons, yes, of sliced pimento. Well, there's something in that that doesn't look too good. Well, it was. Well, there it was had some kind of a lid on it. One. Just keep a lid on it. <laughs> <laughs> two and a half. Now, see, I was using a teaspoon, so... I I felt I really ought to. There's things falling out of these trees. I'm getting nervous about it's it. It's the squirrels bombing us. Another one. So anyway. And then we have some artichoke hearts. Right now, there are a lot of artichokes running around without any hearts. <laughs> heartless. <laughs> heartless. Heartless uh, artichokes. And I'm going to open that up. I'm not used to Dr. J's opener, but I must say it does work quite well. Yeah. It's a good opener. How's this for openers? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. I'm doing the best can't I can. I believe you have sunk that low. Oh, look, a blue jay, Johnson. <gasps> oh, not again. <laughs> not again. Oh. He falls for that old blue jay thing all the time. All right, now open that up and stab one of those things and you quarter them. 
that means you cut them in half and cut each half in half. And then you cut each half in half. As For you those can see, of it's you working that are not real gifted nicely. in mathematics. Well, a lot of people out there, according to test scores, had trouble with arithmetic. <laughs> We've well. seen them. We know. Here it goes. You figure if they can't add two and two. <laughs> half, quarter, quarter. Quarter, quarter. Quarter, quarter. Four quarters equal a whole. This uh, knife, uh, Johnson, is... Uh, well, if you cut with the sharp end of it, I, he, he's I, using the wrong... What do you mean the sharp end you're of using it? using the wrong edge. I am I not. I saw you. I'm not. You were forcing the dull edge through that artichoke. No wonder it was screaming. I'm sorry. I think you need to take these things out and have some professional help with them. Now, wait a minute. I would talk. Let's show these. I've been to your house. I know what kind of knives you've got. Let's show these. He's got five. the only knife in the world that you have to heat up before you can Let's cut a stick of margarine. Let's try and get a word in edgeways here. Let's show these people, Johnson, these recipes. You going to tell them what's in that chicken? Yeah, let's, oh, yes. I was like, boing, 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 boing. The fool? Yes, I guess we'll There's have There's sand in these artichokes. Oh, no. Go ahead. Well, what's, this is a boneless chicken breast. Yeah. And it's been marinated overnight, yeah. skinned, and, and then soaked in zesty Italian dressing. Yeah. And then grilled, uh, yeah. partially cooked in the microwave oven, and then grilled out here in front of your naked eyeballs in my backyard. And that's the entire recipe. It's very easy. And do it yourself at home. You will enjoy it. The broccoli salad, two pounds, I said a pound, it calls for two pounds of broccoli. How humiliating, I have misspoken myself. Cut in bite-sized pieces, include the peeled stems. One pound of fresh mushrooms sliced, a can of pitted ripe, uh, ripe olives, or right olives for that matter, or left olives. Uh, eight ounce jar of Italian dressing, and two tablespoons of sliced pimento, and a jar of artichoke hearts quartered. Now here's what we do when you do all that. What you do is you take your Italian dressing, just a little jar, uh -huh. and just pour it in there like that. <laughs> you think you can handle that? I believe I could. <laughs> I think with some lessons, even Johnson could handle this one. And what you do at that point then is you just shake it all around and mix it all up real good. Now, I used uh, one of those plastic containers last night so that I could take it and just shake it all around. And then you marinate, marinate this in the refrigerator right. overnight. Right. All right. Tell us about what we're doing this season on our shows. Well, let me tell everybody. Because I don't know. This, this season, Larry and I are going to be helping everybody with their nutrition. Some of us are too fat. Some of us are Speak too fat. Speak for yourself. Fat, and we're going to do a well-balanced diet this season. So we'll start next week with appetizers and go right through from soup to nuts all the way to the end of the meal all season long, emphasizing good, healthy recipes and tasty things that you can do for your family or for yourself or your extended family or whomever you might live with. There you go, uh, lady. Oh, thank uh, you. We'll put that well, chicken it, on there it, real it's quick. It's gotten let's, awfully dirty, let's, Bly. Let's eat. Look at that. I have That a, was a, a, clean a clean plate when I came out here. Laban. Oh, what? Well, what has happened to it? Let me have well, here, one of these. Here, just go on ahead yes. and put it on these. All right. Here. And we're going to try these. Here's some fine salad. And here's a chicken breast for you. There's some salad for you. Do we get to sit down? No, we're have, going to have to stand, they informed us. Well, where's my fork? What am I supposed to eat oh, the salad with? Here, use mine. No, it's all right. You gave me two, that's fine. This does look good. Why, you fool. <laughs> that's my fork. Mmm. Mm, the salad is bad. good, if I must say so myself, and I must. And let's see how this chicken is. I'm going to try the chicken out. Mmm. The chicken is real tasty. It smells good. Done to a tea, not too dry, and not half raw. It's good. Mm-hmm. It really is. It doesn't look like barbecue chicken, but it is. Well, it actually is real good, and I hope the birds will lay off until we can consume all of this because I'm hungry. Well, I think we have prepared a nice little back we have. yard meal. It's like all good. A, we have done a real good job. And I'm sorry I'm talking with my mouth full, but well, what can you do? That's the way it is. That's we'll, the way it is on this show. We'll see you next week right here on Cooking Cheap. Bye. I'm gonna go sit down, bye.